Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. This is going to be a general love reading for Virgo. Virgo's only Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Please be mindful. These are general messages. If you find that the reading is not resonating with you, or it's just not something you are interested in listening to, feel free to click off the video. I won't hold it against you. All right. So, Virgo. Hello, everyone in the chat. Hello, my mods. Please give a, th a thumbs up to the moderators. They do an excellent, excellent job. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Okay. So let's get into your reading, see what the energies are for the rest of May here. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus for love. Okay. Cupid's arrows. Wow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. And a little bit of hesitation here. Okay. So you might be feeling hesitant. Um, maybe somebody could be reaching out to some of you, um, trying to have some kind of a love connection with you. Um, hmm. Cupid's arrows definitely biting. There's love er, biting. Does Cupid bite? <laughs> <laughs> little love bites um i feel like you're gonna get asked out and i feel like it's going to be a surprise um like you don't expect it um or you meet up with someone that you don't expect to be connecting with okay um there's hesitation here so i do feel and i'm sorry it's not so bright i'll try and get it brighter when i get the the reading uploaded but i i kind of get a sense that for some reason somebody's hesitant to reach out to you um and i don't feel like it's for a bad reason i feel it's kind of like it could be about timing um they're, they're not trying to yeah, there, there's somebody here who's not trying to come off as desperate, right? Like, um, they're taking their time. This is how I feel. They're, they're not trying to come off as like, oh, they don't want to come on too strong, that they're interested. Why is that doing that? Okay, that they're, they're, they're just trying to like play it cool. That, okay, it took me so long to just to get to that point. Somebody's trying to play it cool here. All right, let's see what else is going on. Oh, well, hello there, soulmate. Okay, so looks like it's going to be a soulmate connection. This is, maybe this is already happening to you. Um, for some of you, it's a surprise and you don't expect it. So soul connection, partnership, agreement, a soul contract. So, hmm, this is like your your other half. There's There's some kind of familiarity here between uh you might recognize with this person let me see if i can get my get a little bit brighter um some kind of recognition soul recognition some some kind of similarity between you and another person um this feels like the two of cups energy like mutually exclusive mutually exclusive is that the word um meeting of the minds and there's an understanding here um, alignment equally yoked as some people say there's there's alignment it's like the same values the same morals possibly the same background and the same upbringing or similarities in in those ways it could be um, it could be similar culture um, similar geographic locations you know uh, there's I think you would understand what that means but it's a soulmate connection this is like your this is for life. This is soulmate for life. All right, let's see what else. What else does spirit want you to know here? Okay. Oh, so you've got a boat. Okay. Uh, receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. Hmm. Okay. Now, so there could be something here like uh, with a boat. This person could be on a boat or they could live on a boat um, or they could be coming to see you by way of water um, or there could be a date on a boat or somewhere where there's boats or a pier um, 
they could be coming from far away um, this feels like um, shipment and delivery <laughs> sailing sailing away together somebody's arriving relationship or a soulmate connection you know I feel like this is about timing I feel like two people like Cupid is shooting his arrow um, into both of you at the same time bringing you both together this is a falling in love kind of energy right so this is not a shit stain situation at all okay is this somebody new is this somebody old well we'll find out as the reading goes to see what this energy is playing out for you so let's see what else tarot has to say wow are you serious oh my goodness here we get another boat okay somebody's facing their fears overcoming um taking uh this is movement it's coming out of, see the water see how choppy that water is here and then it, it, it's calmer there in the distance this is like trying to get out of a troubled troubling situation um emotional struggle trouble we also have all of these let me see if you can see it we also have all of these uh dragonflies at the bottom here so this is definitely like spiritual enlightenment transformation of some so some sort somebody could have dark hair okay there's definitely somebody here overcoming facing some fears overcoming i don't want to say it's taking a risk but it, it cut it's weird they just gave me an image of um like a moth to a flame this is what i'm this is what i'm picking up like a moth to a flame a necessary transition relocation moving moving on a lot a, a moth to a flame someone who's attracted to your light okay let me see and you know as as a general rule um sixes represent harmony appreciation a self-sacrifice a loyal person someone who's responsible so let's see maybe taking responsibility for something wow tower this is like a shocking somebody's coming towards you and whether it's on a boat or they're traveling in some way this is shocking this feels kind of like unexpected this person this person is on their way to you to prevent um okay so they're giving me a couple of messages here on their way to prevent the destruction of something um or to help rebuild after the tower has fallen okay um and then they're giving me this emotional rescue okay um so i'm thinking of that very old song by the rolling stones <laughs> which i used to love the stones when i was you know like really young and that song uh, i can hear it playing in my head and that that was the words that they were giving me like an emotional rescue honestly i don't know what the the words mean the lyrics um because i was a kid when i listened to that song and i never gone back again to listen to it but i'm maybe there's a message in that song for you um so yeah it feels like somebody might know you're in turmoil um or knows that you're struggling with something or that the house is like falling down or the relationship's falling apart and somebody's coming in here to they're telling me like save the day and if like then if then one of the knights shows up then pff, that should confirm that message but right now it feels like it feels like somebody's coming in here to help help but it's cupid's arrows as well okay um feels like the necessary like they know they have to do something here okay so we've got the queen okay so this person is struggling in their own in their own way okay so queen of cups this is water sign element cancer scorpio pisces somebody who's very intuitive nurturing caring has a deep sense of um self deep sense understanding of the emotions very feeling oriented person um 
But I also feel for some of you that this, this is someone who's an empath, but I feel like that might be more your energy that somebody um, is trying to, it feels like this person is breaking down and they're, they're, they're trying to do something about it and they're coming to you. Um, there's definitely a soulmate connection. There's definitely love here, but it feels like um, this person is like, they know they need to come towards you to keep them from, keep them and keep you and keep both of you from falling apart. Okay. Because it's not like, it's about to fall apart it's it's the issue is that things are falling apart with both with two people here okay i don't know if you might not even be together this just could be separately um all right for some i just heard okay and i'm gonna just I just have to put this out there. I don't know if this is a warning or if this is just something I don't, Spirit just wants me to tell you. Um, there, It's an ego stroke for some of you. This person's coming in for an ego stroke. Um, do they have like tum tumultuous, their feelings are in disarray and their emotions are rocky and, and choppy and they're un unstable emotionally? Um, you bring... Uh, warmth and a sense of stability to the emotions because that's what the queen of cups does she's nurturing um, and I feel like somebody's got like um, their egos their ego is broken you know because of the crown chakra here this like destruction of that crown chakra energy just like out of the blue something must have happened to this person and could they be coming in for an ego stroke? Yeah. Is it for to manipulate? I don't feel that way. Um, I, I don't. I know that that can sound, you know, that's used in very derogatory ways nowadays because you know we have this um, influx of narcissism and things like that going on. I'm not picking up that energy um, here. I just feel like someone knows that you have or believes that you have something within you that's able to keep people um, from losing their their head or their temper or something along those lines i'm going to get a clarifying card on this tower um, let me see. It's such a weird message. Okay. Seven of one. So this is defensive energy. This person's like going. All right. So they're saying this person is going through some kind of mental breakdown. This is what's happening. They're having a mental breakdown. And if this is someone that you knew or you were dealing with in the past or someone you knew before in whatever way, um romantic friendship work whatever the nature of the relationship acquaintance whatever um hold on my light always goes out um i feel like this person the only way they can prevent from falling apart is by coming to you now i am not saying that this is not someone who's coming in um just to get a hit off your energy and then leave um but i'm not not saying that okay so i feel like it's really important that you hear me because after the messages whatever comes out you you know as i always say you have agency you have to be the one like to discern because in context each of your relationships are different you know your history okay um so I feel like this person it's it's not okay so they're saying that this person's um fighting back losing themselves and now it's now they're telling me wait now they're saying it's romantic so now they're saying this person can't keep the ego up they can't keep the ego up 
anymore. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so maybe you um, you might not know this person, and then you guys kind of maybe there's a date or somebody reaches out to you or connects with you. For those of you who are like, I have no idea who this is, and they tell they they say to you they used to have a real big ego, and they're overcoming that with that six of swords. Like they're they're finally getting in touch with their em, you know their empath side, their emotions, their feelings. Okay, um, if this is someone that you were with before. They'll tell you that their ego, you know, kept them defensive from overcoming their fears, you know, um, their pride, maybe jealousy or things like that kept them from overcoming their fears and their um, inability to come towards you. Okay, so it's kind of two separate messages because, listen, I, like I said here, um, I, I'm not... I don't see anything in the top cards when I started the reading that tells me this is somebody new and I don't see that it tells me it's somebody from the past. So it could really be either or, either or, okay? But let's move on. Let's move on. Show me this Queen of Cups here, okay? Five of Pentacles. So this person feels completely uh, lost, okay? Either lost without you or just lost in general and they're looking for a nurturing partner. Um, and they're seeking that in you. Something tells me that they know this about you. So I don't know how, if you've never met them before. Um, they may sense that from you when you guys, you know, get together. And um, there's a, like you have an invitation or you guys hook up or get together. Um, there's something that this person senses or will sense from you that, you know, they can drop their ego. They don't have to be defensive. They can, your energy brings a soothing, calm kind of thing to their heart. And, and I feel like this person comes to terms with that. And, you know, it's like, wow, this is my person. Virgo's my person, my soulmate. So whether this is a realization from some of the past or somebody new i mean come on <laughs> the lovers is here so this is definitely like two people making a decision here to come together deep partnership this is a choice okay um to love each other to come into a romantic loving deep partnership with another person vulnerability um again with the six Harmony. This is what this person is facing their fears and riding towards is that love connection. Like I said, with the six, harmony, loyalty, self-sacrifice. I mean, that's love. Sacrificing for each other, you know. And um, this person's been on their own for a, a bit of time here. Uh, they've got no one and they've got nothing really no one that they can really call a true love partner okay <laughs> this is amazing so um on the table we have cancer scorpio pisces and gemini so far okay all right look ace of wands so there's an initiation here of new love this is coming down from the heavens this is um this is not necessarily something that this person's initiating on their own um this is one of those things where like a spark gets made you know something comes in here where two people have this urge to come together okay and this person has this urge to come to be with you right and 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 i just love the lovers because there's nothing i mean even though they're holding hands you know they're embracing one another and kissing so this person definitely wants to kiss you that's for sure um, hmm so um, I'm hearing um, this is not this is um, this is not based on the sexes is what I'm hearing. Okay, so if it's the same, same couple um, or, you know, it embraces everything. It embraces all the different genders, all the different sexes, whatever, you know, um, everything that's out there that can be out there. Um, because I know there's a male and a female on here, but I, I'm not, I'm, I'm just feeling like love is all encompassing here and the embracing aspect. So I get it. So what they're telling me here is this person, um, they're coming towards you for 
to have, you know, a, 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 their intention is to make that soul connection with you, to have that deep loving partnership with you. There's nothing here, um, even if they're, even if the ego stroke aspect is there in some way, it's not necessarily bad. It's just um, they want to be admired and they want to be loved and they want to be liked, okay? Um, and they want to be noticed and um, they don't want to fight. They don't want their pride to get in the way because they know, you know, the pride and love can't really coexist. You know, that negative pride, that pride where somebody's too proud to be humble or to love. Because to love, we have to be humble and vulnerable, right? I mean, that's what love is. It's, so, let me see. Okay, so now we have the death card, transformation, change. So whatever this person is going through, um, they're ready to make some kind of change here. Whatever they're doing, wherever they've been in their life, whatever the energies were playing out, um, this person is like even done with the ego thing and the pride and ready to settle into something healthy or to cultivate, create a healthy partnership with you. Okay, Seven of Swords, Hangman. Okay, so any deceit or deception, I feel like this person is, um, there may have been some portion of this person's life where they were kind of a scoundrel, <laughs> sneaky scoundrel. Um, I'm not, again, like I'm not picking up a malignancy here. I just want to say that. Um, I'm picking up selfish, very selfish tendencies in this person. Um, and there, I'm not singling them out because I think everybody has elements of selfishness at times. Selfishness is not necessarily bad. Um, but the seven of swords, I feel like this person ran away from change, confrontation. Um, I feel like this person just in relationships when things got demanded of them or, or needed to be addressed, um, it was too scary for them and there was this, like, this running away. This person is seeing things differently here because with that hangman, that's Piscean energy, the, the death card is Scorpio. So uh, I feel like this person is kind of like waking up and, and you know, they realize that they got themselves stuck in um, this pattern of negative behavior, but they're also now seeing a different, like they, it's almost like again, self sacrifice, wisdom, um, ready to sacrifice for another person, which of course would be you. Having a, a different viewpoint, a different perspective, looking at things in a different light, right? Um, and accepting, it's almost as if this person's having this inner clarity where, um, yeah, they ran away from relationships or they ran away from um, any turmoil that might have happened, but they were also causing the turmoil. So again, you hear me say all the time, ding dong ditch. They were poking the bear and then when the bear would wake up, then they would run away, you know, because they, were playing some kind of game I guess or they were just trying to get a reaction out of you and I feel like or they were trying to get a reaction out of others in their past this became like some kind of a pattern <clears throat> okay now we have an ace on an ace so ace of pentacles here so the opportunity is coming here I feel this person it feels like they see that um they don't want to miss this final opportunity to do it right this time or to, in their life, in their love life. <clears throat> they don't want to screw this up. This is what I'm hearing. They don't want to screw this up. Okay. All right. So nine of swords, page of swords. 
this person's stressing okay they have a lot of stress you know I feel like um, they want to be able to move things forward they're not sure how you feel or they won't be sure how you feel about them and why is that Virgo what is going on um, I'm also picking up Aquarius Leo and Taurus um, why is this are you Virgo I feel like you might be giving off some vibes oh what the high priest that's the hierophant oh you're holding you're holding to a standard in your life and you're holding this person or you will hold this person to a standard okay you're not playing around look at you you're sitting there the king of pentacles this both could be taurus energy um you're fixed if you've got that you know representing that in your 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 morals and your beliefs are fixed at this point okay you have like these expectations that you feel that um anybody that is going to try to come into a relationship of some sort with you they have to meet these high standards they have to meet these conventional um expectations they have to conform <clears throat> because you're not playing you're not playing you're not i mean listen you're not a stick in the mud virgo you're not a prude everybody knows that because when you feel like you can trust somebody and you feel like they're like their intentions for you are good boy you are the least you are the least prude of all you you make scorpio look like <laughs> a nun <laughs> you're the least prude <laughs> you know um but you gotta have that you know safety like you you're all about that you know um the security when you when you're ready to open up when you've chosen somebody man you're like a wild child right so but it but right at the beginning you got like look at you like i've got a key Am I going to give you a key to come in here, right? You got to show some integrity. You got to show some like conviction, some moral. You got to stand in truth. You have to be humble. You have to be honorable. You know, um, you have to be wise. Like you're, you're really holding somebody to a high standard here, Virgo. You're just not taking any shit. If you're, you're kind of in this place. Like if you want to come here and be a partner of, uh, you know, Virgo CEO partner, Virgo Inc., you know you're gonna have to like be in that same arena as me okay i'm not taking any lightweights <laughs> virgo you're a heavyweight you're, you're like you know better i don't get in the ring with lightweights <laughs> it's it's, it's a, it'll be like a, a shutout so you're looking for a real contender you're looking for someone who can hold their own here um look at that the high priestess and the high priest yep that's exactly what i was saying you're looking for someone who's a match for you okay that's what you're looking for the high priestess and the high priest or the higher font they go together okay someone who's i can never i'm gonna get like a little claw or a clip to hold these it's the way my camera is the high priest and the high priestess are you know they're like very spiritual you're very spiritual you're looking for someone who has that as well whether that's you know for some it could be same religion or same spiritual beliefs um you know but you also have that that mystery and those secrets about you you know like you, you just don't reveal everything the only thing you're you are revealing is your standards to somebody here so i feel like that's this person is kind of like not used to this I don't if this is someone from your past returning they're getting a whole new virgo um because you have you know upgraded or raised your standards i heard somebody say you know if you were in a relationship in the past that was toxic and then something ended and then you, you both got back together um uh, it's never too late to raise your standards you, you can always raise your standards you don't have to go back into the same you know toxic thing you don't have to just keep it continue on you know you you have to if it was toxic somebody's got to raise their damn standards and stand up and be like i'm not doing the shit stain stuff no more you know it's, you know <laughs> come to my door with them bloody stumps or don't come at all right so you're 
you're definitely like if you're gonna make look at here's the night so if you're gonna make some kind of offer to me of some sort it's got to be pure from your emotion and your heart and and it's got to be sincere otherwise you're not you're like keep it moving you're not doing anything else here so that's kind of where you stand and i feel like you're now just you know everybody looks for themselves in another person you know um everybody seeks the similarity and we should not exactly the same but somewhat of a similarity and i don't think there's anything wrong with that because uh, and I don't think there's anything wrong with opposites attracting because that puts a little spice and, and we learn from each other too. Um, I don't think you want someone who's exactly like you because then I feel like you'll probably be bored. But you do want someone who's like, you know, parallel to you in some way. You know, you're, you're traveling, you, you both are on the train at the train station and you're on different trains, but you're heading in the right, same direction. And maybe at some point at the end, you'll meet up and come together, right? That's that's kind of where you're at here. And I just feel like you're you're not in a place of need. Now you're in a, just a place of, um, you know, being able to choose what you want. You know, hold on a second here. You have concern at this time. I feel like you're very concerned yeah um but you're definitely open to a, an adventure something new taking an adventure and in a, with someone new okay and now we have the king of wands so we've got earth and we've got fire as well aries leo sagittarius virgo taurus capricorn um but you're definitely open to beginning again starting over in your life um, in a relationship or just starting over with someone okay and taking that trip as long as you're both on the same page you're wanting the same things and you know somebody's following the rules and the rules are respect integrity loyalty okay um, you're not looking for lies you're not trying to be involved with anybody who lies um, you've you've been through been there done that you're not looking for that Okay, if someone doesn't have, is not secure within themselves <clears throat> to say, you know, I made a mistake and I'm willing to rectify that, what can I do? Um, that kind of energy, you're open to that because that pleases you, Virgo, because you love to help people, you know, um, but you, you're not somebody who's going to walk around, you know, chasing someone with a catch-all basket for every time they they you know shit on the carpet and you got to go around cleaning up after them you're not looking for that you're looking for someone that you know is willing to clean up after themselves <laughs> and then you know if they're not sure how to do it then you're like okay well this this is what you can do but i'm not doing it for you <laughs> i don't sometimes these readings the stuff that comes out of my mouth i don't know who the hell's channeling to me or I'm channeling here. Okay, look at you. Like I said, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. And I said in yesterday's reading, this is the same energy. You are really valuing yourself. This is this is not conceited energy. This is self, this is high value. Okay, so you're now in this position here where, well, if I can't have what I want, I don't want it, right? Because I have everything I need. So it's like you're... It's like your self-esteem has risen, your wealth is good, you're, you're taking care of yourself on a financial level, you're doing everything you need to do for yourself here. Um, single and independent, don't need no man. <laughs> but want one, right? But you, you're not taking, um, you know, these cards can be very med medieval, you know, of course the tarot. So it's kind of like, you know, she is the maiden okay which is why this is the virgo card um so she's like one step before becoming a queen and a queen can't be a queen unless she has a king so you're so as far as like being one step under the queen you're at the top of the line here at quite a catch and usually maidens are single until a suitor comes and is of high value so usually the suitor that comes it's of high value is the knight okay 
Um, I was watching a movie last night. It's an old movie from the 90s. It's called Sense and Sensibility. I don't know if you remember that, but um, I can't remember the actress's name. She was in Titanic, and I'm like a big fan of, um, because I'm in America, but I'm a big fan of European movies, you know, and those medieval type um, period timepiece uh, movies and romance movies and stuff like that. And I was looking at all the characters in the movie and I was seeing the knights and I was seeing, you know, um, all the different classes, which is very much similar in the Tarot. Um, they have all these different classes and peasants and pages and, you know, all that. And I was putting all of the pages and the peasants and the knights and the kings and the queens and all um, to all those people in that movie. And it was really giving me, it was like a, it was like a live tower reading, <laughs> the, a live love tower reading. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Um, but um, yeah, definitely check it out. You'll see what I mean if you're interested and stuff like that. But it was, it was just this energy here where the playboy came in, who was the page or the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, um, Willoughby in the movie, he was very much like messing around with this girl, messing around with that girl, and you know, just runs off his emotions and very charismatic and and loving and funny, and, and girls fall for him, but he's very unstable, no job really, like he was just kind of a just a free runner of his emotions but he was very unstable and and the maiden fell in love with him but he broke her heart because he you know he was just going after whatever was going to suit him at the time and at the moment so you have to be weary of people like that who are coming in with their they're running off their emotions you know um but emotions are so fluctuating up and down left and right they can change a lot or sometimes they could just stay steady for a while and then change again um knights are just in and out in and out in and out come in then they leave come in then they leave you know but very romantic they draw you in and that's a maturity thing as well not an age thing because there's plenty of people who are older who still live by that night life get it night life and there are those who are young who are very mature and almost kingsley or queensley okay so uh, i just feel like the message is that this person will come in romantic but but as a knight but they are also that's their actions towards you but they are also in um king or queen mode okay where that's but but it's even higher you're you're not even looking for a queen you're not looking for a king you're looking f for this hierophant and high priestess similarity it's almost like a spiritual connection you're looking for a very spiritual connection not a class connection okay because you already have class <laughs> right um all right so as far as this person's feelings for you well let's take a look and see what the romance angels have to say Okay, first card out, finances and career, okay? So, you know, that's very important to this connection. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? So that could be for you, that could be for this person, where career choices, very focused on finances, focus on the credit, making sure the credit stays stable. Somebody has a concern about um, maybe a prenup. Somebody has a concern about getting with someone or in you know coming into marriage or union of some sort something like a legal partnership or just you know uh, signing legal documents together joint partnership somebody has a concern about doing that because you know um because of issues with possible credit or um financial losses and things like that and somebody's concerned if another person's working so is somebody financially stable that's the question okay um and that's that's something that i feel like plays a, a really big role in your love life you know as far as like type of person you're seeking or you're looking for or you're currently with or part of a decision that you may need to make let's see what else Okay, so somebody's healing family issues right now. Um, 
You know, the reading I did yesterday, um, somebody left a comment, and obviously it was a troll or a bot, but they got, were really pissed off that I used the word forgive. Like, I was, I was preaching some kind of holy doctrine, okay? But, I mean, I just deleted that person because I... I I don't know if it was true or not. It's not even really worth spending my time talking about, but forgiveness is very important, and I don't think we need to be religious in order to practice the art of forgiveness because forgiveness is healing self, okay? Um, so if you don't want to call it forgiveness, you want to call it apology to self or not apology to another person, but forgiveness is like, it's just another word to say, I give you... Um, I give you a pass. It's a way of saying, I have to give this pass because if I don't give a pass, I'll suffer. There's this old term where, um, you know, when we hold on to resentment for something somebody else did to us, most of the time that other person isn't even aware and they're sleeping like a baby and we're up all night pissed off. So resentment really just hurts you. It does. It doesn't hurt the other. Half the time people don't even know what they've done or that they've done anything wrong unless we speak up and we say how we feel without criti criticism or judgment, but we just say, hey, you know, that thing that you said, um, it, hurt, it hurt my feelings. You know, people, most of the time, we go around our days doing things without intentionally trying to hurt people, and sometimes people get hurt. <coughs> Excuse me. And we may not even know it, right? And so that person that's upset with us or angry with us or is holding a grudge is the one who's really suffering. That, that's like a cancer to the soul. So anyway, healing family issues. Somebody here is um, taking a look at their parents and forgiving a parent or parents for some traumas or childhood traumas and stuff like that or things that might have happened in a family um, or a past. Somebody seeking um, forgiveness from their children for some past um, family stuff as well. Um, and it just feels like the love the love relationship going forward, it could be you, it could be the other person, but it makes the love relationship better because the, for some, uh, because we have children here and there's, there's two children and a father, so somebody maybe needs to forgive their father for something. It could be one child and a mother and father. Um, so whatever the situation is, or forgive a mother, um, putting it behind you, forgiving the past that can't be changed and healing from that um, makes the love relationship, brings benefit to this love relationship. Okay, one more please. Okay, yeah, loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So that's the goal for Virgo. Okay, you're absolutely on this thing where, okay, I'm letting go of the past. I'm forgiving and I'm, I'm loving myself first. I'm not putting other people, um, I'm not sacrificing. I'll sacrifice for my child or children or grandkids um, or, or people who, you know, you know where to put your unconditional love, right? Because I don't feel like every single person in the world deserves... Well, it's not, it's not about other people. It's more about giving yourself unconditional love. That's the, really the message, okay? Um, so I feel like when it comes to, like, you know, your offspring or um, your close family members, you know, you're loving them as well. You're giving your, un you're ex you know, accepting, letting things pass, um, whether people did things wrong to you in your family or not. But I always say when you're putting yourself first, when you're loving yourself first, you don't have to manipulatively put other people on the back burner. They just go there by default when you're caring for self first. It's, so is it selfish? Yes, you know, but everybody has selfish tendencies, right? But it just means it's about self. It doesn't mean it's to harm other people. It doesn't mean purposely being selfish to harm another person. It just means I have to take care of my needs first. Um, and I always say, like, there's, there was this old um, magnet thing hanging in the kitchen that said, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody going to be happy. Like, mama got to take care of herself. Papa got to take care of himself first. You can't 
give to everybody and then when you then you drain your well dry and you've got nothing for yourself you have to replenish all right let me take a look here and see what the love messages are i feel like i'm preaching in this reading but seriously i feel like a lot of you so you've got somebody who's coming in here um who sees something special in you and um I do feel they want to try to give this a go and, and try to have like this supreme love partnership union um, with you. I feel like somebody, and, and I don't feel like you're going to expect their behavior towards you. If you knew them before, this is completely different from them, how they were before. And um, But mostly I feel like that's because you're different now. You're commanding. Um, you're not demanding. You're just commanding a particular way to be um, handled, right? There's a big difference between putting demands on people and then commanding someone. You know, like you're more, I feel you have a commanding presence and I feel like somebody here is a bit intimidated by that. But at the same time, it causes them, you raise the bar and it causes them to have to, you know, reach that bar. Okay, obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Okay, hmm, that's interesting. That doesn't feel healthy to me. So I'm not sure who that is. Could be you, could be another person. Um, let's see. Okay, a friendship that's leading to more. Wow, okay. So for some of you, you already know this person. It's a friendship. And for others, it'll start as friendship. And then, surprise, this person winds up wanting to have more with you, okay? A, a romantic uh, relationship, Cupid's arrows. All right, a leap of faith gets taken. It's safe to make the move you're considering. So I know when if you've already met this person or if you haven't yet, there will be this time where you're like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Um, and you might be obsessing over um whether or not you should and i feel like um for some of you be getting signs about whether or not you should move something forward with someone and if you're not you may be asking for signs you know is this right for me should i do this should i not do this okay um stop obsessing over it just ask one time for signs to know if this is something that you should revisit or connect with this person. Is this person being brought to you um, from higher power or is this person being brought to you from a lower power? Okay, so let's see what the Chinese sign. Okay, we've got tiger, year of the horse, year of the snake. Year of the horse again. So I'm going to have two horses. Year of the dragon <laughs> always shows up. Year of the pig and year of the ox. Okay. So it could be your sign and your other, and your person's sign, um, or just yours or just theirs or none. And don't worry about it if it's none. All right. Let me just get a couple of moonology cards and see what the message is here for you. Okay, be bold and make the first move. Wow. Okay, what do you need to release? Okay, hmm, interesting. So be bold and make the first move. For some of you, that might mean asking somebody out on a date um, or putting it out there that you have an interest, okay, um, before they do. Um, or somebody does, you know, reach out and tries to connect with you and then you're bold and the first move you make is where to go or where to meet, okay, for some of you. But for most of you, this is like making the first move. Be bold and make the first move in releasing. Be bold. I don't know what that means for, for some of you, but that's the message. Be bold, make the first move and release something whatever that might mean for you. <laughs> it may not mean towards this person. All right, let's check and see. Um, I have a couple of other messages here for you. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, serendipity. Bright new prospect on the horizon here. This is probably what this is going to feel like. It might even start be, um, be feeling like this now if you're already connecting with this person. Um, like you two meet and it's, it's like meant to be. Isn't that what serendipity means? Wait, I'm going to look it up because I think... No, I'm not going to look it up. You guys can tell me. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure. It's just like hard to believe, I feel. It, that's the energy I'm picking up from the card, but it might mean something else. But it was like, this was meant to be. That's what I'm hearing. This person who's coming in... Um, this situation that's evolving here or that you're already connecting with and it's growing this is your soulmate this is this is the person that you're they're saying you're meant to be with okay so you've got spider um be meticulous and patient like a spider that some of you might meet on the web on the internet um or start speaking on the internet or you have um just go i just keep hearing um be thoughtful before you speak be conscious and selective and have your words be choice when you're speaking to someone so that you are not tripping over your tongue, that you slow it down in the communication with this person. Speak directly, okay, and don't, um, I don't know, they're just saying keep it cool. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Just keep it cool is what I'm hearing. Be meticulous and patient. With, so be meticulous in your speech and what you say to this person for some reason. Be truthful, honest, and authentic. But also be patient in listening to what they have to say. Okay. Well, that's a different message. Some of you are reevaluating your career. Also, an emotional wish is being granted. Okay. So that's, a, I feel like those are separate messages for some of you that are looking at your career, making some career changes, reevaluating the career you're in if you want to stay in it, or if you want to um, um, try something different. And also, whatever your heart has been wishing for, I do feel like this is getting granted. Okay, and this is a love reading, so it could have something to do with that. Um, but whatever's bringing you emotional joy or whatever you were seeking to bring emotional joy, I feel like, you know, that wish is, oh, and you've got a new chapter. You're looking back on the past one more time, um, but you're not keeping your eyes in the rearview mirror as you're driving forward, that's for sure. Um, you're being advised to travel, explore the world, you know, learn, meet new people, live your best life, and allow the past to cycle out because there's a new journey coming ahead here, Okay. You can take someone with you on this new journey, or you can go solo, but either way, you're in, being inspired and advised to just get moving on this new start, okay? You've got fresh hope in front of you showing up here. Um, you're being asked to take a chance. You've got a, a new path, and there's new beginnings happening here. And I know a lot of you, I said that that stuff was going to happen in September, but we were also have been looking at the 16th, and also the 30th. So some things are, you know, like I said, the next four months is uh, going to have a hell of a lot of growth and change in your love lives and, and just in your lives in general. Some of you may just decide, you know, um, you might decide that this isn't something that you want with this person and you go off on your own. Okay. And you go solo. Either way, you're moving forward. Either way, Virgo, I see you're moving forward okay i know we're getting some like thunderstorms and tornadoes and hail and all that stuff is coming so i'm going to get this reading finished and uploaded before the power goes out because it usually does okay so let's since i said that um i'm not going to pull any more cards i'm going to do your charms and take a look at your your numbers your dates Okay. All right. So we've got Scorpio on the table. Birth dates the 9th, the 7th, the 4th, and the 1st. Okay. Um, the 20th, we've got Libra. Okay. We've got um, Aquarius. Somebody's born in 72. Um, 
somebody 420. It's a very special day for someone. Um, we also have 1971. Somebody is 42. Um, somebody was born in 63 or is 63. Okay, we also have Taurus for some of you. They're also giving me Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, <clears throat> Gemini, and Pisces. Okay, so if that resonates for you, those are your messages. Let me just get a couple of charms. Wow, you guys keep getting that Eiffel Tower. I mean, that's insane. <clears throat> um, we've got a parrot. Parrot on a perch. Okay. Someone's from France or speaks French. Okay. Um, hmm. Somebody's going to be seeing the dolphins. I live somewhere where there's new, where there's dolphins. I also see somebody playing tennis together, like a tennis game together. Um, oh, and then there's a little boy rocking horse here. So some of you are going to be playing. Um, I, I'm seeing dates that are like game kind of dates. Um, not, I, uh, so somebody goes on a date, like either they go, I'm seeing like a miniature golf course or um, they go to the beach and play volleyball or maybe an arcade or some video games or just like game dates, if that makes any sense. Fun, um, competitive, sporty kind of dates, that kind of stuff. Also, there's, there's a strong energy here with you know, mammals, um, dolphins, sea creatures, the beach, um, that might resonate for someone or the boat or being in water or near water or something along. It's just going to be very significant going forward or it is right now for you. Okay. I don't know what the deal is with this parrot. Um, I'm hearing, um, you'll know, okay. They're saying you'll know that this person that you connect with. Oh, somebody's 38. You'll know that this person that you connect with, oh, now they're telling me September 10th, um, they will mimic you. And it's a compliment. So if you need to put this person to the test to find out if that's them, if you're sitting across from them and you're having dinner or something, um, if you're looking directly at them, <laughs> Look away from them and make it look as if you're looking behind them to look at somebody or a clock. And if their head turns to see what you're looking at, that's your sign. <laughs> I don't, because I just saw that. So I don't know, uh, you know, they're just saying, I don't, I, I can never make excuses or anything for the messages I get. I'm just hearing, that's how you know that this is your person because the, I'm just feeling mimicry. Is that the word? Mimicry? They, they either they, they they start talking like you or they repeat words that you say or they use certain slang or terms or words that you say um it's like it's complimentary um it just means that this person's in tune with you they're staying on top of that they're tuning into you no it's not love bombing no it's not narcissism um and even if it is it's too early to tell but don't be afraid by that because that's a natural phenomenon that happens between people not every person that mimics you is a narcissist it's just a compliment that you know somebody likes you and and there's just something they're open and they're like a sponge they're absorbing you okay <laughs> i i really like i have to say i mean i get the whole fear thing of of but there's so much and i'm not saying that that condition isn't there i think there's a high narcissistic traits in people these days and it's getting worse over time but true diagnosed malignant narcissism is very i don't want to say it's rare but it's very difficult to diagnose because you know those people don't tend to go into counseling because i don't think there's anything wrong with them unless they're like they're a serial killer that's been caught <laughs> you know, are in jail and they're forced to be diagnosed. But I just don't think, and I know I'm going to have a lot of backlash, but I don't give a fuck. I don't think that it's really as prevalent as we think. I just think we've got a lot of, there's a lot of people who are spiritually disordered. That's really what I think. And I, I don't really feel like the next date you go on, if you're with someone who was, you know, if you were 
truly like locked up in a basement i'm not devaluing the way you felt in a certain relationship but if you really felt like that's what you were dealing with then then that's what you were dealing with and you really need to get like some supplement healing with that um but if if you can take a, a step back and really assess and say you know what this person was just a jerk they were just an absolute jerk. They were just moody and and non effective, and they were selfish and egotistical and an absolute jerk. Were they malignant? Eh, maybe, maybe not. But at the end of the day, when you're when you're secure and protecting yourself, you really just cannot be sucked into anything you don't want to be sucked into, right? I know this is controversial. I'll probably wind up removing this aspect from the reading. Um, but if I don't, I said what I said. And if you comment and you disagree with me, I'll just ban you from my channel because I don't give a fuck. Um, it's my channel. Go make your own. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, I just, I'm eating wasabi nuts. But um, yeah, so if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. If not, I hope you enjoy this. Um, and that's it. And anybody who is a member of my channel, if you're a new member, welcome. Um, also remember... I do the readings on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please don't keep sending me comments or messages. I'm not going to respond. When you signed up to be a member, it's written in there what the perks that you'll get. Okay? So I'll just, the final time, I'll, I'm going to, you know, say this, that it is on Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to pop in on Sunday and get your free reading, just be, just show up. Okay? Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember, bloody stumps are nothing at all. No shit stains. Keep it moving. If that's the case, that's all you got to worry about. All right, you guys. Love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.